Africa in 1977, uh, Senegal. Then I went to Kenya, that used to be British East African. Then on up to Egypt, to, to Cairo, and to uh, outside of Cairo to look at the Great Pyramid and the Sphinx, and then took a plane up the Nile River to the ruins of Thebes and walked through the Temple of Ammon at Amon Ra that was built in 3700 B.C., the greatest temple that was ever built in the world. And I saw all these great things. And uh, we know that black people built all these things. And yet, Cohen uh, B. was supposed to be the greatest historian of his day, a professor at Oxford University, and he tells you that these people were white. And if you listen to these people, you'll get your uh, mind terribly balled up. Down in, uh, in Kenya, outside of Nairobi, I visited a village of people that they uh, called the Maasai's. The Maasai's of the same racial stock as the ancient Egyptians and the Ethiopians. And uh, while I'm uh, uh, standing there looking the village over, some of these people came up and I was shocked. All the authorities that, can, that I have consulted told me that these people were members of the white race. And they were blue-black. <laughs> In Senegal, where they say the people are Negroes, most of them were sort of medium brown colored. None of them were actually black, but they are Negroes. And then you go over to East Africa among the Maasai's, and most of them are blacker than a blackboard, and they are white people. <laughs> so I mean, if you're going to uh, 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 get the lowdown hit on history, you've got to use your own head, not somebody else's. Now, I found out that uh, the Greeks, who were supposed to have been the founders of civilization because they were the first civilized white folks, but the Greeks got their civilization from the Egyptians. And the Egyptians were black people. And the Greeks passed their civilization on to the Romans. And the Romans are a very stupid, dumb bunch of people for the most part. They couldn't retain it. They lost it. They had a dark age in, in, in Europe for 500 years. And then another bunch of Africans, the Moors, from North Africa moved into Spain and started civilization all over again. So instead of Europe civilizing Africa, Africa has civilized Europe two times. So that's, uh, yeah, that's what you have to uh, keep in mind. And... Uh, now I want to say something about uh, what, why it is that uh, I have to be teaching you, be talking to you about African history. The reason I'm talking to you uh, about it is because it's not in the textbooks. And it's not in the textbooks because we don't write textbooks. We have other people write the textbooks and they put that propaganda in there and we are supposed to swallow it. Now we are told that after the Greeks uh, uh, were taken over by the Romans and that civilization decayed and then the Roman civilization went down after the fall of Rome and you had a 500 year dark age, we were told that uh, Christianity re-civilized Europe and uh, produced modern civilization. And we know if we read the literature that these Christians, these white Christians of Europe are the dumbest people that ever lived. They said that the earth was flat like a pancake out in the uh, vastness of space with the sun and the moon and all the stars going around it. The ancient Egyptians in the pyramid age 6,000 years ago knew that the world was round. They knew that it went around the sun in 365 and one-fourth days and their astronomers measured the earth and they knew what the polar diameter was, they knew what the equatorial diameter was, they measured the circumference of the earth and they calculated it so accurately 
until modern astronomers said their error was only one yard. In other words, the circumference of the Earth is about 25,000 miles, and they calculated it with an error of about this, one yard. So uh, uh, if you read history the way it happened and not the way other people wrote about it, you will find out that the black race created the civilization, created the white, uh, civilized the white folks two times. Uh, so that uh, you want to get some perspective on this. And uh, the white folks took the religion of ancient Egypt, of Ethiopian Egypt, and uh, bought it up completely. I visited.